95% confidence interval. Now, we should probably do all that stuff, right? Random, normal, independent, and all like that. But um, I'm not going to do that. Let's just do the confidence interval. Now, it's about the usage of social networking sites. And they are looking at the difference between teens and adults. And we want to say, well, what is the difference between teens and adults? So, um, let's see, 800 teens, 2,253 adults, 73% of teens, 47% of adults. Okay, I think we got the information that we need. So, let's do the um, confidence roll. Let's look at what that looks like. And we, here we go. Let's see. We just take the two proportions and subtract them. 1.96, so that's the z-score, inverse norm, for a 95% confidence interval. And then here are our proportions, teens, and then 1 minus that, divided by how many teens we surveyed. And 0.47 and 1 minus that, divided by how many adults. Take the square root, do all this stuff, and let's come up with some numbers. And this is what we get in the end. These two numbers after cranking out all these numbers. So what does this tell us? We are 95% confident that the true difference between adults and teens who use social networking sites is somewhere between 22% and 29%. Wango. There it is. So as we get closer to that big test, sometimes students are a little confused as to which test to use for which problem. Sometimes it's hard to say, is this a match pairs? Is this just paired data? Is this a difference of proportions? And that just takes practice, which we will get to. But check this out. Of course, there is a test. Um, press stat and over to tests. And oh, two proportion Z interval. Isn't that what we're doing? We're working with proportions. And there's two of them. And we're trying to do a Z interval. So if we press that, let's see what happens. And we get this. How nice. So all we have to do is plug in the numbers. But the problem is, in this particular problem, they didn't tell us. See, we have to know how many teens out of the 800 and how many adults, the exact number out of the 800. But they do tell us it is what? What's the percentage? Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. So it is 73% 0.73 times 800. That's how we would figure that out. And then, of course, um, point, what was the other one? 43. And, uh, no, 47. 0.47. And multiply that by how many adults there were. 2253. These two things will go right there for your x1 and your x2. The total number, of course, goes into n1 and n2. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And this is what we get. So 73% of 800 teens is 584 teens. And then... 47% uh, of 2,253 is 1059. Plug those numbers in. 95% confidence interval. And let's see what we get. And there you have it. So, here is our confidence interval. We are 95% confident that the true proportion is somewhere between 22% and 29%. Just like when we did it by hand. Okay, so... This problem, of course, is in the book, and also how to use the calculator is also in the book. In fact, the book is very helpful. It would be great if some of you would spend more time looking at those problems. Anyway, um, I will send a notice to ask you to please watch this video, which will really help us on Monday, and I'll see you then. Bye.